contested. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank you. And today we have uh, had our session at the National Bungala Manainchi and we have unanimously reject the extension of term limit from five years to seven years. And instead, we have told our leaders to focus on economic uh, uh, policies which can uplift the living standard of the Kenyan people. We have the Big Four agenda, which are very crucial, and we urge leaders to fully implement the Big Four agenda, to implement fully the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, which are intertwined with Kenya's vision 2030. Our leaders must focus in serving the people of Kenya. The KRA must work hand in hand to ensure that there is no pilfering in misuse of public funds. The, the members of parliament must ensure that they pass laws which are very fair so that this nation can move ahead. Security issues, no Kenyans will die. Agriculture, farmers should be applied with subsidized fertilizer so that there is uh, uh, enormous, so that there is surplus production of food. Our nation should not die of anger. People should not die of anger. Education should be affordable to all Kenyans people. We remember Mwai Kibaki and Kijana Wamalwa made us to go to school. And that is what we want to, 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 to feel now. I celebrate them because without them, I could have not even been speaking English. And for that matter, I congratulate my Mwai Kibaki for coming with the free primary education program, which really helped us and took us even to secondary school. And finally, we went to university. With those few remarks, may I take this opportunity to urge the president to focus on serving the people of Kenya and ensuring that those big four agenda and the bottom-up economic uh, transformation agenda is fully implemented to the core. Those few remarks, thank you very much. And that is the stand of Bungela Wanaichi. Lamba, and my opening remarks are Gen Z to Melala, na tunangusha wakati. Mambo kama hii haifai kwe mefika this uh, stage of discussion, na sisi tumekati tukisikiza. Mambo kama hii haifai kwe mefika at this uh, level, na sisi tumekati tukiangalia. Mambo ya finance bill tulianza kukataa before hata ifike bunge. Mambo ya seven years extension ya term limit, mekubali imefika hata east stage. How? <coughs> Let me address myself to the rest of the country. Those who voted for this president, is this what you want? A president who prioritizes impeaching his deputy. A president who has a dysfunctional president. A president who prioritizes extending his term limits. As if this is what we need as a country, as if these are the priorities. While we have healthcare in shambles, education in shambles, while we have um, social, social protection in shambles, our security mechanisms are in shambles, we do not have a substantive IBC, the judiciary is compromised, the legislature is compromised. With all these things that are pressing, and Kenyans dying of hunger, and being unable to access education, and electricity. This is what you prioritize. Dear Kenyans, it is about time we come to our senses and realize there are those that made a mistake in voting in this country. And we need to fight it. Not by guns, not by our hands, but we need to fight him constitutionally. We made a mistake. I did not vote for this guy, but there is a mistake that has been made and we need to rectify that. We need to correct this. Because this is one of the many um, nonsensical laws that these guys are going to bring. Imagine today is the 22nd day of public participation about the extension of the term limits. And nobody knows about this public participation. And it has been ongoing for 22 days. I was shocked to, deal, to read the newspaper yesterday to, and learn that this public participation exercise for the extension of term limits has gone on for 22 days and nobody knows about it. Why, can, why can't we have proper public participation held at all constituencies, at the world level, at the location level? Just like they showed us that they have, when they want to uh, do, do proper public participation, they can do them. They did that with the impeachment of Deputy President Gashago. Why can't we have proper public participation? Tomorrow being the last day, they will outwink Kenyans that they have done a proper public participation by holding a public participation at KICC or Bombers, whichever they, 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 they prefer. And you will take their word for it. Going forward, we need to have proper public participations and we need to go back to the law on public participation. We need to amend that law to digitize public participation and to use blockchain technology going forward. We need to know how many people have said yes to, to, to bills and laws and we need to know how many people have said no. 
We need to have that information. And we should use blockchain, which cannot be edited, which cannot be tampered with, which cannot be rigged. Going forward, we need to think about those things. And with me here, and I will not divulge the details, is a popular initiative that I have, that I have proposed. I proposed this before Karumo Zangwa proposed. We need to decrease the term limits to four years or three years, and we also need to go back to the laws on public participation. Thank you.